Hello everyone, my name is Salkuth Mind and I am super excited to be here with Dicey Dungeons. I'll talk a little bit more about the game in just a moment, but first I would like to introduce the two fantastic people with me. Uh, first up we have uh, Kasaki. Uh, yes, that's me, I'm Kasaki. I, I don't speed run, but I volunteer a lot and I've met cool people, so yeah, that's me. Uh, Kasaki will be helping me out uh, by explaining various speed strats and things because uh, there's a lot of math that I got to do real fast uh, and it's hard to talk to at the same time. So Saki will be helping me with that. And then I also have the lovely Marlo with me. Marlo? Hi, then. how's it going? Um, I'm Marlo. I'm responsible, guilty for all the art and animation in the game. So I'm very excited to be here. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. And uh, I see it in chat. Yes, eyeball shirt. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, both uh, <laughs> uh, to both Soul Mass and to Big Scared for helping me uh, make this yesterday. <laughs> um, if you do not know of this meme uh, and you are eligible to be in the Fatel server, uh, get in the Fatel's Discord server. Do it. <laughs> you will not regret it. Um, but yes. Anyways, Dicey Dungeons. Uh, this is a deck builder roguelike dungeon crawler. It's a lot. There's a lot of stuff. Basically, I do math fast and everything is random. So we're going to see how well this goes. Um, Warrior Showcase is not a real category on SRC. Uh, it is a made up category of three runs that I've put together. Uh, the first of which is Warrior Episode 1 from the base game and then Halloween, uh, Halloween Special Warrior and then Reunion uh, Reunion Warrior as well. Um, we'll explain about the DLCs and all of that as we go, but if everyone's somewhat ready, we're going to go in. Time will begin once I click into this door. Warriors, welcome. All right, Marlo and Kasaki, you ready? Yeah, let's go. All right, so in three, two, one, go. Good luck. All right, so we're going to mash through some text here. That's Lady Luck. Um, so the runs are all going to be any percent. There's two types of runs uh, on the leaderboard. There's any percent where you do any number of the fights, and there is all fights where you do all the fights. Very self-explanatory. Um, however, always on the first level, the first floor, we always do both, uh, both fights, right part, so that we can go get that second piece of equipment, and also so that we can end uh, at level two. So we enter the second floor at level two. That makes level two just so much easier. Um, but yeah, uh, Kasaki, do you want to explain some things uh, like, for example, this weapon we have that has burn on it? Uh, yeah, so burn is one of the many, many stats effects in this, in that for every stack of burn you put on, or they put on you, it literally sets your dice on fire. Uh, and you have to take two damage to put them out. So, uh, burn is a, is a very interesting thing, especially if you stack it up a lot, because it can lead to interesting situations where enemies just won't take a turn because they they won't they they won't reduce themselves to zero HP with burn. So, it can it can lead to interesting situations. Indeed, uh, and as well, I had something called a limit break pop up there, uh, and I used this thing called fury. And uh, Kasaki, can you explain fury to everyone too? Yeah, Fury is uh, really cool. It actually makes it to where when you use it, whatever equipment you play next, it actually does it twice instead of just once. So it can help really increase the damage output uh, uh, let you burn through those enemies faster. Yeah, and so it gets charged by taking a certain amount of damage, which is helpful. Uh, we're going to see a few different limit break abilities throughout the three levels. Um, yeah, this, in this one, it is that. And Boomerang, we obtained Boomerang. Uh, if I got any other dicey speedrunners in chat, you will all, I'm sure, be very excited. Uh, we like Boomerang in, in the speedrunning world. As, uh, boom. Bye, wizard. I know we want to talk about the wizard, but bye, wizard. You're, you're, that was goodbye. so fast. <laughs> it was very fast. Uh, I am going to upgrade it, though, so that I don't take so much damage, because that risks me dying. Um... And that is no fun. We're gonna do the same thing here. 
to roll this? Oh yes, combat roll. Kasaki, could you explain combat roll? It's two. Uh, yeah, so combat roll lets you re-roll a die. You can use it up to three times per turn. Um, you just toss a die onto it, and it re-rolls it for you. Hopefully with a better result, but you, you, you'll never know. Exactly. Sometimes it likes to be shenanigans. Yeah, sometimes there's shenanigans. But we're also at a good point uh, with, I know Pacific was saying earlier in the green room that there's been lots of love rolling in. So Pacific, uh, a donation or two. Definitely. Um, I actually have a very special $25 donation from Cell. Says, hey everyone, Cell here. Dicey Dungeons was my first ever speed game. And I remember being so scared to submit runs to SRC. Now, thanks to Fatals, I've had the opportunity to showcase it at Fright Fatals 2022, be game host for Game of the Month, and now be here at Frost showcasing it. I've received so much encouragement from this community, and it's always an honor to be part of events. I hope you all enjoy the run. Lesson three. Thank you, Cell. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yay. Um, we also have lots of love coming in for the bonus episode. Twenty-five dollars from Marshmallow saying, "Marshmallow is saying, I love Halloween. Gotta see this bonus episode." And we're um, we're at uh, almost five hundred dollars now out of that one thousand seven hundred and fifty that we need by the end of this run in order to see that bonus Halloween episode. Make sure to get those donations in. Don't forget to apply the incentive if you want to see it. That was lucky. Uh, so uh, <laughs> Kraken is a really terrifying enemy um, to fight uh, because of the abilities. We also got skeletons. We've got horrible RNG here for the enemies we're facing immediately. Um, so Kraken is really scary because Kraken can curse you and also can blind die, which can make it just really hard to actually get anything to pop off. Um, skeleton, as you can see, can do a lot of damage. Also can curse you. So I'm going to focus and uh, Isaki and Marlo take it away with thoughts. Yeah, it's really, I mean, it's really interesting to hear like what enemies are bad for speed runs versus bad for normal runs. Because I know there's like some enemies that have a bit of a reputation for being run killers. And it's kind of cool to see uh, that some of them might be different for speed runs or not. Yeah, also, the skeleton is just extremely adorable. I, I love it. <laughs> the art yeah. in this game is so cute, Marlo. Oh, thank you. It's yeah. so it cute. Really you can't be mad at any of them for killing your run. Well, that's really can't. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you no. can. <laughs> okay, we're gonna. So we're I'm gonna. Sure. We're just gonna quickly kill this particular attempt. So my estimate gives me time to reattempt. Um, I gave myself a generous estimate, so we're going to jump right back in and speed through as fast as we can. Um, and this uh, is how a lot of roguelikes go. It's part of yeah, part of it is expected is, to reset. This is this is the dicey dungeon speed running life. <laughs> um, if you really if you really really love RNG, uh, go speed run uh, Thief episode one. I think it is that literally. Like, literally, you have to get a specific enemy and you have to gain a specific ability from that enemy, and it just, it causes... Oh my gosh. It causes chaos. Yeah, but this high. was built in, this was intended. I knew that we would probably run into this. Uh, and so we got uh, some more time for donation specific. Or anything else you would like to read? Oh yeah, definitely. We've got uh, so, some more love coming in. Uh, we have... Let me pull this one up. We have $25 from Escapade, who says trans rights, lesson three. Thank you, Escapade, for that donation. We also have $400 from Thena52 that says, hi, everyone. Today is my 40th birthday, and I'm thrilled to spend some of it with all of you awesome people. Please have a gift from me for an important cause. Thank you, Thena. Thank you so much for that donation. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And thank Happy you birthday. for the reminder that we are here uh, supporting the National Women's Law Center, an incredible charity organization that does so much for women and girls everywhere. Um, so we're really proud to be supporting them. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Pacific. Um, I saw a question in chat about why uh, Warrior Door 3 doesn't have dice on it. Uh, that might be because I actually haven't completed it. So I had there's some episodes in this game that I just haven't done yet. Um, some of that's due to speedrunning. Some of that's due to um, some of them are scary. <laughs> I just don't want to do them. <laughs> uh, 
Don't want to yeah. open that door. Wizard! Wizard! We want to talk about Wizard. We have a chance. We love him. Look at Wizard and his his, uh, his socks uh, flying off of off of feet. We briefly saw Wizard. <laughs> we briefly saw Wizard. Don't worry. Hopefully, we'll get to see Wizard again in the um, Halloween episode because Wizard is Wizard so has a fun adorable. Outfit. I was going to say, any time we take a death, we get a chance to see our problematic favorite Lady Luck again, so I can't complain. Ooh. Um, <laughs> the lore of this game. Do we want to talk about, a little bit about the lore of this game? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty bonkers. Uh, so you're an anthropomorphized dice. You're turning to a dice, and you were uh, thrown into this dungeon that's also a game show, and you're trying to fight your way out. But... Lady Luck is the host of the game show, so the odds are definitely stacked against you in many different ways. Oh, it's almost like it's rigged or something. It's almost <laughs> like it's rigged a little bit. Oh. Uh, Lady Luck wouldn't do that, right? Uh, no. I don't think she's been known to do that. I trust Definitely her. Definitely not. Don't want that. I'm so glad we don't have to fight the sorceress. I don't care for fighting the sorceress. She's just a pain in any... I love her aesthetically. I hate fighting. Also, I just like fight. One Got some time for more donations? Uh, just... Oh, go ahead. Uh, Saki, what were you about to say? Oh, I was just going to point out that... Uh, I. I was still blown away when you told me that the boomerang is useful because casually I just always avoided it because my brain went, I don't want to hurt myself. That seems like a bad idea. Yeah, same. 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 Yeah, that's, that, that's a thing that as a speedrunner, if you want to do warrior episodes, you have to get over that. It took me a while, um, but for sure. Um, I'm looking at the floor, seeing it's going to be a little bit tricky. I'm going to go a little bit quiet and focus. So that means, yes, absolutely Pacific. Take it away with donations. No problem. Uh, we have $25 from user bin PRL who says it's stupid o'clock in the morning here in the UK and me and my cat Sir Marmalot are sat enjoying some dicey junk dungeons. Thank you so much for that donation and uh, that $25, um, that actually, that goes for, puts him in the running for that gorgeous Lady Luck art that uh, Marlo donated. Um, so don't forget, that's a prize that's available. Uh, we have some beautiful dicey dungeons. Prizes. Um, definitely check those out. That Lady Luck painting is it looks amazing. Oh, the needle felt too. I'm so oh, jealous so of good. whoever gets that. That is so beautiful. Yeah, it's posable too. So you can oh. pose her in all her sassy poses you can do. <laughs> I also have a quick update for everybody that we do have a new bid war available for our next game is Sticky Business. Um, you can donate on the pride flag choice that is going to be used in the Sticky Business Run. Uh, it's the design that uh, Scala Kitty is going to use. We have some options here. Asexuality, disability, gay slash MLM, intersex, lesbian, and non-binary. So donate towards any of those for our next run and we'll get to pick the flag that gets designed. Okay, uh, I am somewhat nervous of this. I'm going oh. into Skeleton with 16 hit points, which is very scary. Uh, chat, please, please wish me good RNG. Um, I am very concerned about this. I have to math this very carefully. Don't do us like this, Skeleton. You, you got this, so we believe. I'm gonna pop. So this is the downside of Boomerang, is when you encounter a situation like this, it does a lot of damage, but it will hurt me. Um, so I don't want to use it if I don't have to in this case. I am so scared. Every time you hear the heartbeat, it just gets so intense. Okay, please roll really badly. Oh no. Okay, uh, we will head over to uh, the Halloween episode. Uh, if there is time, we will come back and try Warrior 1 once more. Um, unfortunate RNG there. Anyways, this is Halloween. Uh, Halloween is... Halloween is fun. This is this is like the first one that I got super into speedrunning. Uh, and everyone has really cute costumes. So first, quickly, uh, before we get into the costumes, which are amazing and adorable, Saki, can you explain what's different about Halloween? I 
uh, yeah, Halloween has a few things that are different. Um, for starters, the, the th most thing you might be noticing is the Limit Break Warrior is different. Instead of Fury, we now have Recovery, so you can heal with your Limit Break. Uh, also, the enemy and item pools are different. Um, and you'll start to see, starting at the second level as we move down through, uh, there will be a additional rules added on through the for the battles. Uh, the first one adds a special version of Fury that you always have Fury, but it has a 50-50 shot of happening. Um, the next one actually makes it to where all status effects... Actually, no. I'm out of here. The next one is all in it's 50% extra health. Uh, and then, after that, all status effects are doubled for enemies and for for self. So that, that special fury is doubled, but also all other status effects are doubled. Um, beyond that, though, yeah, everyone is just uh, extra cute in their costumes. So I will... Marlo, <laughs> please tell us about these costumes. Yeah, um, well, we decided to do the Halloween DLC. Obviously, everyone had to get costumes. I think I may have mentioned this on uh, Cell's last run of this DLC, but I like do not remember drawing a lot of these. <laughs> so I like almost spit my water out just now when I saw Lady Luck in the cowgirl costume because I <laughs> forgot that I did that. Oh, um, so good. I was just in a haze drawn Halloween costumes so fast, but um, yeah, I really like how a lot of these uh, turned out. I just like Halloween a lot, so. <laughs> Halloween is an amazing holiday. Mm -hmm. We're all Halloween appreciators here. Are there Halloween appreciators in chat? Halloween enjoyers. <laughs> <laughs> I will also say if anyone is watching this and thinks, hey, hey I want to speedrun Dice Dungeons too, um, come check out Warrior Halloween episode because I call this the most like first time runner friendly. I call it the most marathon safe um, because you can heal and it makes it a little bit easier. So come check it out if, if this looks good to you. Come play, come play this, this category. Yeah, one other thing to note that uh, you might see is the, the enemy's health is not quite the same. Some of them is higher. Actually, most, I think all of them is higher. Uh, so, they're, so they're cuter and more deadly all at the same time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But we have health. We can heal. So, you know, I'm not as nervous. Oh, yeah. We didn't have no. to change the sorceress's costume very much. <laughs> no. I think, the, I think the really only difference is she's got the, like, little pumpkin, like, Andy bucket there, I think. The ghost on the shirt too, I believe, is, is oh, yes, a that's new right. addition. Sorceress just lives Halloween all the time. Yeah. All the time. We're in her domain now. She's she's oh, one yes. of my favorites. She's so cute. She's a, she's also like very like anti capitalist. She's like Yay, commercialization of this holiday. Hashtag <laughs> super scary. Hashtag boo. And I'm just like, you're such a mood. Oh man, yeah. Shout outs to all the lines that Holly wrote for this game. Just added so much personality to all these characters. This is one of the DLC specific enemies, so this is only for Halloween. Oh, Ooh. I didn't realize I did not realize that Demon was only um, in the DLC. Also, Pitchfork is 10 out of 10, my favorite weapon in this entire DLC. <laughs> Okay, what do I want to do? Well, while, while Cell is mapping, uh, you'll notice that there's yet another status effect here. This one's called Shocked. Uh, you have to basically waste a die to get access to your equipment. It's it's extremely rude. Uh, okay, I'm alive. Mm, what do I want to do? Twelve. The heartbeat. Yeah. I can recovery. Okay. <gasps> We're back in business. Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Nice. <laughs> Scary. I did am it. Sweating. <laughs> my, my heart rate is very high. This right game now. is actually terrible. <laughs> <laughs> no Kraken. Yes. We don't have to fight Kraken on this floor. Oh, the RNG. 
That's what makes it so exciting, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, I had a moment of pain when I saw Bracket before my brain processed that they were out of the way. We hey, kind of terrible. ran by the wizard. We didn't get to say hi, but... Oh, well. HP, recovery, and... I guess people will just have to play the game if they want to see it. Yeah. Too bad. <laughs> That's so unfortunate for them. <laughs> yeah, having a great game to play. Yeah. Oh, come on, RNG! Please don't, don't. Come on, don't fail us. Ah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be dead. I just saw the mouse. Yeah. Oh. Shoot. Okay. What uh, time are we at? Okay. Um. I'm gonna switch over to Reunion, and then we will come back to this one again, just to make sure that we have a chance to at least show everyone a taste of the games. Uh, so this is Reunion. Um, so technically, technically, uh, mild spoilers, you are able to escape uh, the dungeon. I won't tell you how. I won't, um, <laughs> won't give you the information, but you can technically escape. Uh, and so Reunion is then set in this sort of world of you've come back and you're like doing a reunion tour because this was also like a live, this was like a reality TV show? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the lore of this game? It's I, so weird. It's really like, you know, it's what it's how everyone interpret it, but the, the original game is very much like, it's a game show and it's on TV and that's how it's kind of presented. So we thought that it would be fun to like, sometimes how they do reunion episodes on reality TV shows to base DLC off of that, because everyone was coming all together again. So good. Uh, but there are some very different things about this particular episode. Um, Saki, if you would like to explain them. Uh, yeah, so you'll notice that the biggest thing, again, Limit Break is again different. Uh, this time it's Barricade, which gives you shield, which negates damage. Um, also, now when you toss a die onto a piece of equipment, it doesn't go anywhere until you actually tell the game to do so. Uh, meaning you can store a die on something and re-roll your dice pool at the bottom. Um, the other big thing is previously, as Cell has leveled up, uh, she gets more health and more dice. Uh, Reunion just doesn't let you do that. Uh, so you have to use these workout cards to see it on the side to increase your maximum health uh, or your dice pool. Otherwise, you're just going to be stuck with 24 health and uh, a couple dice the whole time, which is going to be a bad time. Ah, <laughs> oh, Sticky Hands helping me out there. Um, I always feel bad for Sticky Hands when, when it's their own attack that ends them. <laughs> I always Misplay. feel a little bad for that one. Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. fortunate. Let me know when you got some time for some more donations. Yeah, I think we got we got some time right now, Pacific. Awesome. We've got $25 from Mango saying, Woo, Sal, best of luck with your run. Always love to see some dicey dungeons. Lesson three. Thank you, Mango. Um, and then I do have an update on the Halloween episode. We passed the $700 mark out of the $1,750 needed to meet that incentive by the end of this run. Um, a reminder, this is uh, the incentive is for the bonus witch Halloween episode. It's the only episode in the game with zero RNG, so it can be speedrun very quickly. And there's also a special unique boss, Pumpkin Spice, who is guaranteed to appear. She's super cool, so if you want to be 100% certain to see her, uh, make sure to get those donations in. And don't forget to apply the incentive when you're donating. Time for another one? Uh, yeah, go ahead. I have $100 from Anonymous who says, Marlo, I love all the characters so, so much. Thank you for giving them all such great art. Baby Squid and Slime are my favorites. Lesson three. Oh, thank you so much. That's so nice to hear. I like Baby Squid a lot too. <laughs> so cute. Those are both really cute. The Slime is really cute too though. Oh, Alchemist. Okay, I'm slightly scared. Alchemist is a little scary. Um, RNG has not been super kind to me, but we'll just we'll just do that. Lady Luck is so damage. mean today. Lady Luck is so mean. 
This, this is what I get for, for doing a warm-up uh, run in the green room. This is what I get for <laughs> I had incredible in RNG on that one, and... Great luck. <laughs> you got the cell. You got this. Oh, yeah. Keep, keep doing uh, that. Also, man, I... So. I, uh, You're not I, even halfway through your estimate either, so don't worry. Oh yeah, we got time. We will. Time. We will have a good showcase. Uh, um. Yeah. So I got a card option there that popped up um, when I leveled up uh, a couple moments ago, and I had to pick one of the cards. I was hoping to get one that would give me an option to learn Fury or Berserk. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get either of those. Uh, I instead had to take sort of my backup option, which is Fall for Backup, uh, which will then summon the Jester. It will turn my um, Limit Break button into a Summon the Jester button. Not ideal. Oh, do I want Lament? No, I'm not going to take Lament. Um, I also don't know if I checked this again. Um, lament does uh, Freeze, which, Kasaki, can you explain what uh, the Freeze status effect does? Yeah, so freeze is actually an interesting one. So what it does is it takes your highest die that you roll and turns it into a one for each stack of it. So if, for example, and I've had this happen, you have three stacks of it and all three dice, you get three ones, which is not ideal. Well, sometimes. There's certain builds where actually rolling a lot of ones is really, really good and useful but they're not okay. super common. Let, let me rephrase. Casually, in just the base <laughs> game. Bunch of ones, usually <laughs> not fair. ideal. <laughs> Absolutely fair. This is fine, yep. This is this is fine indeed. Yeah. I just noticed that was what that was called. <laughs> uh, oh, we're in one of the three, I believe, environments for this DLC. I based each of them off of different reality TV show tropes. So we're in kind of the like Bachelor Real Housewives era oh, over okay. here. So I, I've always thought that like that this feels like that, but okay, I'm glad to know I wasn't imagining this. <laughs> we're evoking the right feeling then. <laughs> Uh, the other two are like Survivor. I think we based one off of Survivor and then kind of like Love Island was the third one because I was watching Love Island at the time. I'm a reality TV show junkie. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uppercut, let's go. I like Uppercut as weapon in this in this uh, particular level. This. Barricade. This. Roll. Got time for more donations? Yeah, we got time for a couple more. We have $25 from Turbo Gaming saying, this incentive is Halloween pumpkin scream <laughs> under all these dice. <laughs> Thank you, Turbo, for that donation. Incredible. Uh, we also have $25 from Lon saying, need to see the Halloween episode for one of my top roguelikes. Thanks for a fun run. May the RNG be in your favor. Thank you, Lon. And we're almost halfway through that incentive. Oh my gosh. Thank you all so much. Uh, we still have half of it to go before the end of this run. So let's keep pushing for it. Thank you so much for all this great support. And don't forget to mark the incentive when you're donating if you want to see this bonus Halloween episode, which you want to see it. Uh, if you want to see, if you're curious who the witch is, the witch is the character on my shirt. I do promise that's not her normal eyes. This is this is, this is a, this is a Fatal's Discord meme special. Um, but yeah, if you want to see the witch, who's very cool. I'm Donate. actually really considering making the eyes canon, so... <laughs> <laughs> I think Incredible. it's a great addition. It is fabulous. Oh, okay, we're on the... Sorry, we are on the best soundtrack of, of the game, in my opinion, right now. It's hard to choose. It really is. They're all the best, a little bit. They're, I mean, they're all very good, but like this one gets stuck in my head. Unfortunately, we're fighting Loud Bird, which is Loud Bird is cute. But Loud Bird sucks to fight. Loud Bird has a reputation that I wasn't expecting when I drew Loud Bird at first. <laughs> <laughs> 
and to, uh, to, to quote myself the loud bird exactly what I always say is loud bird is cute that's the last good thing I have to say about loud bird <laughs> that was a very interesting part of like working on the game because it can be quite tough sometimes where you're just like oh I drew this character I think it's so cute and then you like log into the discord and everyone's like I hate loud bird <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's no. so good because he's dripping with so much attitude, too. <laughs> like, all of the characters oh, have yeah. such distinct personalities, clearly. They definitely take on a life of their own with, like, the mechanics and the writing as well. Like, they kind of all become very unique. I, I appreciated dodging that. That was a nice one to have. <laughs> I'm running really low on workout cards, though, which is kind of concerning. Um, ah, let's, let's go. Boom. All right. We made it past Loudbird. Thank God. Good. Yep. I'm just, I'm very scared of what's on the next floor. Not gonna lie. Very concerned. What's on floor five? Oh! Okay. Kraken's out of the way. That's good, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm not, not gonna buy anything there yet. I might need to go buy that help. I'm I'm scared about the wisp here, though. And a quick update on our incentive: we just passed yes. nine hundred dollars out of the one thousand seven hundred and fifty needed. Great job, everybody! Let's keep the momentum going. Can we see maybe a uh, in honor of the D six, the six sided dice? Can we maybe see a six dollar donation train to get this Ooh. bonus Halloween episode? Let's support it and let's make sure to make this incentive happen. And don't forget, everybody, your donations are going. You're getting some more bang for your buck because we are still working towards that bonus Link's Awakening DX at the end of today, trying to hit that $58,000 milestone. So when you donate towards this incentive, it's also going towards the 58,000 total donations goal for Link's Awakening DX, which we definitely also want to see that too. We got to see it. So two games mm -hmm. for your donation right now. You can get bonus Halloween episode and you can get Link's Awakening. Let's just get those checked. Um, so this enemy actually does a couple of very interesting uh, status effects. Vanish and Haunted. Saki, if you want to explain those quickly. Yeah, absolutely. So Vanish, it means that any duplicated dice are immediately destroyed. Uh, and Haunted is an interesting one that it re-rolls a random dice and then removes a stack of itself when you use your equipment. So it's re-rolling dice, and if you have them to do it, they get destroyed. So it's it's a fearsome combination. Um, fortunately, though, um, as a speedrunner, I can use Haunted to my advantage a little bit. It allows me to save re-rolls um, for when I like genuinely need to re-roll something. Um, right now... Let's go. Uh, Gargoyle is less scary in Reunion. Uh, Gargoyle terrifies me in some of the other episodes. Uh, but this <laughs> one, Gargoyle is fine. Gargoyle does like a fraction of the damage. Look at that smile. That winning smile. <laughs> I mean, it, Garg Garg Gargoyle cute, but also... <laughs> Gargoyle, you're you're a little scary. You're very stressful to play against. I'd appreciate if you would just move out of the way, please, and let me pass. Um, please and thank you. Just slide right out of the way. Yeah, I, I will point out that my my list of notes for for Gargoyle quite literally says the worst level five enemy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's my personal and opinion. Here we now. are. No, I rolled all sixes. That's usually not something I, I'm sad about, but... Look that's a lot of ones. These ones. Oh. That's a lot of ones. Oh, okay, no. nine damage. I'm fine. It's obnoxious. Also, fun fact. Uh, I don't like math, chat. Uh, <laughs> and yet, here I am speedrunning Dicey Dungeons. It requires me to do math very fast. Um, Banshee. Um, I'm, like, I also, so impressed. I, I also like uh, Slay the Spire, and that's on my list to learn. 
Uh, and yet again, I don't like doing math fast. I'm just as confused as you are about it. <laughs> Look, sometimes yeah, you just gotta gotta do something you don't actually like for the fun. For mm, hundreds true, of hours. True. Yeah, you can't help what you're good at. You're very good at math. <laughs> I'll have to say too, like it's also a lot of reading very fast. I, I'm not sure. I'm actually curious how much of it becomes memorization, but just seeing you go into the shops and out of the shops so quick, I'm just like, how did she do that? It's not just to see it. Like, for example, I'm running this at a, a German event later this month. Um, mm -hmm. I don't speak German. Um, I, I, I understand it a little bit. Um, so, uh, I'm going to run it in German, in the German language option. Oh, um, that's awesome. I can do that, though, because I literally... I know what everything is, and I know what things look like. I'm going to buy this. I'm just going to prep before we go into the final boss here. Um, yeah, I just know what everything is. That's very um, cool. And kind of a fun awesome. fact about the game itself, it is translated into a lot of languages, so if you're looking for one it may be in there for you yes indeed and oh boy this is this is this is a boss roll of all time um this was not a boss i was hoping to see um yeah okay this could get interesting i'm gonna focus up um and kisaki and marlo go ahead and do your things yeah yeah seem to remember she does lots of status effects at you Trying to recall. We'll see her moves yeah, in a second. Yeah, what I have is that she's immune to certain aspects, but they're not really ones mm. that you get normally, so. Or Got at least 40 out of 70 on turn freeze. one. I believe. Oh, and we're seeing the effects of Frozen on us there too. Our dice are turning into ones at the bottom. And a, and a locked dice, that's always rough. Yeah, locked. Watch die just means it cannot be used at all. It is extremely rude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just inflicts horrible status effects, is what she does. Okay, I feel I feel good, though. This is going well. And we get and we this great tune. Too. Yes, the sax. Enjoying the sax. Uh, we also now have yes. call for backup, which means... I can pop that and have the jester come help me if need be. Oh, so, uh, oh no, oh no, I've been passworded. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, so we do oh. not know what the value of these dice are. Um, an interesting way to maybe figure that out is sort of what we're doing yeah, here. Where they're adding up to seven. We don't know what they were, but. That was a four. This is. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, it was a two. That's a two. Okay. <laughs> this is also a strat. Try and shove them in the thing and see if it fits. That went pretty well, all things considered. That that was... Oh, no, I've been silenced. Hey, why don't we explain silence, dodge, and weaken? Because I don't think we've talked about those yet. Uh, yeah, so silence means you can't use your limit break at all. Um, so in any special character skill and cannot be used. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Uh, and then weaken, it, it just weakens random equipment. Um, so any, what it does to each one is, is specific to it, but you don't know which ones it's going to weaken. So it's, it's completely RNG. We did it! Yay. Yay! Good job! So at the end of reunion, there's this big long dialogue between Lady Luck and whoever the person is to find out like sort of like what's happened to them post-life. Uh, the warrior has written a book, uh, a fitness book, um, which is interesting. Uh, reasons. Uh, Pacific, what time are we at so I know what uh, episode to go back to see if we can finish something? You're at 37 minutes right now. Okay, we're gonna go back to Halloween. We're gonna try Halloween once more. Yeah. All right. And while you get that set up, do you have time for more donations? Yeah, feel free. Go. We have $25 oh, no. 
from Lexological saying, Dicey Dungeons is one of my favorite games. Which level four and six took me so long to defeat? My win ratio is two to 45 on level six, but she was still my favorite dice. Which is super fun. And again, uh, if you want to get that bonus Halloween episode, we are running low on time. We have about 13 minutes left in this run. Um, so make sure to get those donations in. We need help for that bonus Halloween episode. We are at $978 out of the 1,750 needed. So remember to get those donations in. Don't forget to add the incentive when you're donating. And remember, this is going all going towards a great cause, the National Women's Law Center. So you're supporting a great cause and also unlocking some more marathon to see. And we are also getting really close to that uh, $54,000 mark so uh, this is super exciting to see thank you everyone for all your support let's keep it coming we found the wizard it's the wizard who wizard. is in a chicken costume this time <laughs> i think this one was a stream of consciousness decision honestly it's it it is it is something i've had i have had so many thoughts about the wizard over my time of speedrunning this game um i do like we'll see if he talks Oh, he didn't talk, no. but it, it, if, if he don't, so the characters have a random chance to say something at the end. Uh, and if the wizard speaks at the end of this one, uh, says something about like, which came first, the chicken or the egg? And I go, this is too philosophical for me, please. I'm just trying to go fast. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it to yourself. I do like the Medusa costume here on the dryad. That is... <laughs> A wonderful choice. It is. I really love it. I like the touch of the pure, just because it plays in the Medusa side of it so well. <laughs> the spooky laugh. It's always so fun when you, I mean, maybe not in a speedrunning sense, but it's always so fun when you're playing casually and you get one of the random voice lines from the enemies after you defeat them. Yeah. It's it's time loss in a speedrun, uh, but casually, it is so much fun. Do you have also, time for? An, oh, so go ahead. I, I in a moment, but I have a question. Why why is the why is the pirate standing on just a leg of ham? <laughs> <So> <laughs> this is a burning question I've had. It is pretty weird, isn't it? Um, so the way that all the art is done, um, I drew everything in like layers in Photoshop, but it's all animated in After Effects, so it's kind of a mix of frame by frame and puppet animation. And the easiest way to do the costumes for everyone is to kind of like keep all the assets at the same size. So he's standing on a treasure chest when he's a pirate. And I kind of needed to like replace the treasure chest asset with something so we wouldn't have to drastically change the the rig or the art or anything like that so it's a ham okay it's food i guess you know that 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 is that is a that is a logical answer my curiosity has been has been uh stated and let's hear some more donations definitely we have 25 dollars from ed x6 who says love this game love running this game and glad we get to see it on the gdq channel thank you ed and with that, we are at a thousand. We passed a thousand dollars for the bonus Halloween episode. Great job, everybody! We have about seven hundred and fifty dollars left that we need to see that incentive, uh, which I really want to see. Can you tell us any more thing more about it, Sal? Yeah. So it's literally it has no RNG, which means I already know solutions, but there's also means incredible pressure on me for like perfect execution. Uh, so if you want to make a real challenge for me, you're going to want to see that because I don't... I, I have to not just think fast, but also remember fast. Uh, yeah, it's very interesting because it kind of takes the format of Dicey Dungeons and makes it like much more like a puzzle game. Um, mm -hmm. So which it's is very in general. Yeah. Which is very much sort of the puzzle character. Um, so yeah, if you like puzzle games, you should also donate towards the incentive because uh, it is the, the puzzle side of the roguelike. Only curses. <laughs> yeah, I, I've noticed casually. It always says there's a chance curse will go off, but that chance always feels really high. It feels very high. Um, oh yeah, fun little piece of lore. Uh, so you can get a wolf puppy in a very early state, like early level, 
And then further down, you can encounter um, the wolf, um, dire wolf, which is like the wolf parent. Uh, and it's always, it's always fun so to see cute. their little dialogues. Also, hello, we have a rotten apple who in this episode is a um, rotten pumpkin because like, all apples are pumpkins. This is our mimic or one of our mimics, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's it's it is, a time. It's very much the first, the first time you come across these. <laughs> yeah, there's there is a rule actually. Um, so in certain more advanced levels, there's rules, and you can get a rule that will turn every item, every item on the floor into into a chess. I believe it's called mimic. It is actual, actual terrible time. I fortunately have never gotten it in a speedrun, but casually, it always terrifies me. Yeah, that sounds like a bad thing. Pacific, we got some more time. Definitely. We have $100 from Sydney coming in saying Halloween. So we have definitely have lots of support coming in for that Halloween episode run. Um, we also have $25 from Froggy Surprise, who says, so cool to watch someone who's so good at Dicey Dungeons. I agree. More time? Uh, yeah, you got time for two more. All right. We have $25 from Alternatives to Fighting, saying, my partner and I love playing Dicey Dungeons together and are having a great time watching this showcase. And then we have $50 from Sokuban, who says, Cozy indie games are such a jam, and I love how inclusive they can be. Wishing Cell the best of luck, maybe not lady luck, in this very chancy game. <laughs> now let's get some ace representation in sticky business. Hey, thank you. So great. And yes, sticky business is also a fantastic run. I'm so excited to see that after this one. It is. I've seen sticky business a couple times. It's very good. Also, I would just like like shout outs to the Kraken for being out of the way every time we come across them this time. What yeah, a this champ. Has been, this has been great. Um, we're going to go for it. I would sometimes take an extra fight there. Oh, it's Drake. Oh. Do we not like Drake? Mm, uh, you know, I, okay. Controversial <laughs> opinion. I've come to love Drake. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to probably horrify the other uh, dicey speedrunners I see in chat. Um, but yeah, I, I've come to really love Drake. Um, so Drake is a weird boss in that you can only kill Drake using the wooden stake, um, which can be a little stressful. Drake but. normally shows up, I mean, Drake is a vampire in the normal game, but he's not really dressed like one, like he's wearing like a beanie and jeans and stuff, but for Halloween he's actually a vampire. Mm -hmm. And I see in chat, oh yeah. no, Drake, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he does oh force you to swap equipment. That's true. I have another quick update for everybody. We just passed the uh, $1,250 marker. So Woo! we have only less than $500 to go for this incentive. Oh my goodness. The do do support chat. is flying in here. Thank you so much. Let's keep it up. The witch needs her time. We can do it. The witch does need her time. Ow, ow, <laughs> that's a lot of poison. And pumpkin uh. spice. We need to see pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice, yes. Yes. Pumpkin Spice, again, is the uh, special Halloween unique boss that is guaranteed to appear. She's super cool. So if you want to be 100% sure you'll see her, then you need to beat this incentive. I know it's March, but it's Halloween all year long. Always. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh all of our dice are hidden. <laughs> Oh, there we nice. go! Oh, nice. I, I was I was in serious time. All right, uh, Pacific, <laughs> what are we at for time? Uh, forty six minutes out of fifty. So you have about sure. three and a half. Three and a half minutes. That is not enough time to attempt the warrior base one again. Which I clicked the wrong button. Back to the main scheme. So, Did you want to get it started, maybe? And we just, can try. Uh, we can see how far yeah, we can go. Let's just see go. how far. All right. Well, Let's you have do the time. This. We're going to see how fast I can speed run this. I think my PB is like <laughs> six minutes. 
<laughs> see, if I, see if I can get a massive TP. Time to slash that in half. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Lock. Just... Right now. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> if the dice cooperate. You know, I going into this, I did not predict that Warrior Episode 1 would be the, the one that would give me the worst issues with finishing yeah. it. Uh, normally, I'm like fairly consistent with it, uh, but that, oh, staff. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Chat, this one is just cursed. You better donate so that we can get some uncursed content in the form of uh, Halloween Witch. You have cursed a few minutes a left fun, to do it. A fun spooky yep. way. Reminder, that's a zero RNG run, so it could be beat quite quickly. By cell, at least. Not by me. I can't beat it that fast at all. <laughs> Heavens, no. <laughs> it can be speed run very quickly, I should say. And a reminder, all the donations are also going towards unlocking that Link's Awakening DX run that we want to see at the end of today as well. Um, getting a two for one, because that's a milestone incentive where if we reach $58,000, we'll get to add a whole run to the schedule, Link's Awakening DX. So any donations you put towards the bonus Halloween episode will automatically get applied to Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. We got to see it. I love that game. I'm so excited to see that run later. Me too. Oh, we get to see Wizard again. Hello, Wizard. Hello, Wizard. I, I think Wizard's enjoying feet fatales. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so glad you said it, so I didn't have to. <laughs> I'm also kind of quiet because I am just focusing on the dice. I know we're in turbo mode. Uh, also, production, feel free to let me know when I am to stop. I will just keep going until I'm told. Ring. Oh, we got the boomerang. This is a good floor three. This is a good floor three. <laughs> Gary. Stereo We're gonna head. Play this a little risky. Let's go. Boom. Hey, that was nice. a perfect floor three. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to level up quickly. I can't even comprehend what is happening. This is so fast. Right, Pacific has so it going much. for that incentive. Oh, no way! Oh my gosh, we just hit the incentive? Amazing! Wow, thank Woo. you. That was literally in the last couple seconds. Oh my goodness, thank you all so much. That's incredible. We had a $500 donation from Sydney who says, it's my birthday, so the Halloween episode is now a present to myself. Oh. Thank you so much, Sydney, and everyone else who made this happen. Thank you so much. Again, this is all going towards the National Women's Law Center. You all raised $1,750 towards the National Women's Law Center. Thank you so much for your generosity. And Thank let's make it happen. Thank you so much. Happy birthday. Oh. And happy, yes, birthday. happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Thank you so again. much for getting that incentive. Uh, all right, so I'm going to um, head over to the incentive. I encourage you, this is Warrior Episode 1. Get this game, it's in the Humble Bundle. Um, you can easily, easily go check it out yourself. It's the first one. First, uh, It's easy, go play it. It's uh, easier than we make it seem. <laughs> it's easier than we make it seem. All right, we're going over to the witch uh, because I'm uh, a little bit jittery now from that getting met last second. I'm gonna jump straight over, get my notes up. And, uh, you got this. Oh, yeah. Ooh, all right. Uh, is tech resetting timer? Yes, we're. I think tech is ready to go. All Just right, so give us the count, countdown. Give a little quick drink of water. All right. So time is going to begin in three, two, one, go. And I'm going to just be quiet and focus oh, because no. uh, I don't want to make an error. Let's go. So, so the biggest thing to note with this is, one, since we're using a different character, the mechanics are entirely different. Uh, the witch has this handy dandy little spell book, where you have to use dice to get access to the spells, and then use dice again to use the spells. It is, quite honestly, my favorite mechanic that I came across in this game, because um, I'm also just a 
a big old tabletop RPG nerd. So they said spellbook, and I said yes. <laughs> I love this spellbook as well. I feel like uh, the witch is my favorite character to play. I I hard agree. And also there's so just much like adorable. creativity. <laughs> And the eyes, the eyes on the shirt will be canon one day. <laughs> one day. <laughs> that chance, uh, you'll, you'll see, so uh, uh, my, my notes on this are just, uh, this is just a bunch of math. And oh, yes, so that's really, fun. yeah, that's all it is. It's, it's math puzzle. that Cell is doing at Blister this week. It's a, it's a math puzzle. So yeah, you get to like assign the dice to the spell book on the right, and they'll make the spells appear, which then you can put dice in. So this is this is so complicated. Like there's so many layers to what numbers you put in the spell book and what numbers you put on the. Cornelius! Oh, there he is. Okay. Cornelius is my favorite. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I have I have to thank chat person because this lets me this lets me put Marlo on the spot. Um, why is Cornelius in? a hot dog suit instead of a corn dog suit. His name's Cornelius. <laughs> you know what? I had that exact same thought just now, but that was the first time I had that thought. <laughs> I don't know. I hot dogs are great. Ask you that. I've just been wanting to ask you that since Cell and I started practicing, and I saw <laughs> Cornelius was in a hot dog suit. That was low-hanging fruit, and I missed it. Oh yes, we have pumpkin spice. All right, this is the hard one because I'm going to produce so many dice on screen, you all will not know what's happening. There's just, there's a lot. That's one thing I really like that, like, a decision that I believe Terry made was just like, if you have a bunch of dice, just like overlap them with everything. I think it's kind of fun to see that many dice. It feels very tactile. Oh, you yeah, don't definitely. Need to see your cards. No. You should know them by now, right? Yeah. I mean, everyone loves having a big handful of dice in real life, so it's it true. kind of evokes that. That's very true. Oh my gosh, this is wild, though. This is so many dice. Uh, time will be coming yeah. up very quickly here. Time. Wow. Yay! Oh my gosh, that was so wild. I have so a feeling wild. that was probably a PB because that was so <gasps> fast. I was laser focused. I don't know. I'd have to confirm. Oh but my I was gosh. so. Oh, oh. Oh. You did Thank great. Thank you all for getting that incentive bet. Um, that was fun. Go play this game. Uh, I know we're so behind schedule, so I'm going to jump straight into shout outs. Um, if you want to find more of me, uh, you can find me over on Twitch at Selkuth Mind. Um, I'm also on YouTube and all bunch of socials. Um, you can check out all of those over on my website, uh, selkuthmind.neocities.org. Um, I speedrun basic dungeons. I speedrun a whole bunch of games, uh, basically indie stuff and speedruns. That's my content. Uh, I'd love to have you come check it out. Uh, Kisaki and Marlo, anything you want to shout out? Um, so for uh, me, yeah, again, I, I don't speak or anything, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just say real quick, um, I just volunteer a lot, so if you're part of the speedrun volunteering scene, we'll probably see each other. Volunteer, it's good. Yeah, and Marlo? Yeah, I just want to, I mean, thank you, obviously, Sel and Kasaki for being here and inviting me. It's so exciting to be here. Um, just shout outs to all the people who play Dicey and the team that made Dicey. Like, we're a small team, and it's been really kind of life-changing to see the support that this game has got. So I really, really appreciate it, and I'm really happy to be here. I've been a long-time viewer of GDQ, so very exciting. Yeah. Well, thank you all for watching, and uh, enjoy the rest of the marathon. Good evening, everyone. Kung Fu for Cup here, and I am joined by Claire Lindy, who's getting ready to do her upcoming run of Link's Awakening DX. Now, this is a bonus game, so we need your help to see this run happen, and we are big Zelda people here. We yes. are big Zelda fans here, so we're going to be talking about Zelda for a little bit, which I know, oh no, what a chore. No, <laughs> Zelda's amazing, um, if you can't tell. Uh, well, Zelda it out. Um, also, I'm really good at writing on, on cue cards. Uh, so yeah, here we are. Um, you did a so, great job. Thank you. It's right side up and yeah, everything. Yeah, totally. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, 
So, okay. So, Link's Awakening DX, my favorite handheld Zelda game. I don't know about you. It's so good. It's so much fun. Obviously, I'm sure that you you love to run the game, obviously, you know, because you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do love to run the game. And honestly, I started playing that game when I was like a kid. Mm -hmm. and I had it on my Game Boy and everything. And I just, I love the island vibes. I love how cute it is. I love how it's different from like most other Zelda games. Agreed. Um, I Cal like Cal Heights yep, specifically exactly. is a great track. I like uh, that Missing No from Pokemon is in it. Yes. Yeah. And, Missing No's in it if you haven't seen. And I like uh, going into the doghouse over and over and over again. Uh -huh. um, okay. But there is actually a chain jump in it. And there are Goombas in it, right? Uh, that, yeah. There's also some bats and uh, <laughs> some torches. There's some little guys that you bump around. I okay. mean, everybody knows this, right? Everybody's... <laughs> Everybody who's played Link's Awakening knows this. Yes. Okay, okay. Anyway, this is a 100% no restrictions run. So when we say 100%, so that's getting everything in the game, but no restrictions. That means like you can do anything you want. That means, okay, so when I, so, so the reason why Missing No came up is because I was watching her practice just a little bit ago and I was like, are you, so you're fighting Missing No? What's happening? It was just like a garbled mess on the mid, in the middle of the screen for the fight. And it was so funny to see. I was like, what is happening here? Um, I've seen a couple clips of this and uh, there's also just moments where you just pick up what looks like like a square pixel of just dirt. It's just like random garbling. It's oh yeah, so the horrible square. <laughs> yes, there's going to be a few of those. <laughs> I love There's that. There's going to be a few of those. So so that's kind of what I've seen. But I wanted you to paint us all a picture as we're putting in our donations to get that $58,000 milestone, which we are 94% of the way um, towards, um, about to hit $55,000. Um, I want you to paint us a picture. Give us like a visual picture, like a kind of metaphor, a nice little something on how this run works, like the right. progression. Right, right. Um, so actually, I do have a good metaphor for oh, this. Oh, yay. Okay. Uh, so when I started... <laughs> running this game, I had a friend who was watching who said that it reminded her a lot of like goulash. Okay. So just imagine like every screen in the game is kind of like goulash, you know, everything's kind of like mixed around. It's really hard to tell where things are. It's just, you'll, you'll just have to wait and see. It's okay. So the funniest part is that like in, um, it's, it, and I think based on the description, like that's really accurate. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen that like things just get overlapped and repeated or you just walk. I saw you walk through a torch into another room and then uh, back. Yes. And then like, I, I didn't know what was going on, but like, I loved it. I wanted to see more of it. Right. So, so like everybody knows uh, in the doghouse, nothing is as it seems. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and nothing uh, really looks like what it actually is. Uh -huh. So it could be a torch, but it could just be like a floor tile. It could be a loading zone. It could take you somewhere completely different. It, you really don't know. Okay, so is would you say that like the doghouse is one of the most commonly used areas in the game to kind of get you around? Yes, you will be seeing a lot of the doghouse. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> oh, that's really exciting. Like what's what's the thing that helps you get through the game uh, like with the most efficiency maybe or the fastest, I guess? Uh, okay, so there's not really any like speed tricks per se. That's not true, actually. <laughs> so there is another glitch in this game that uh, basically lets you ignore all collision in the entire game. Sure. So you can just walk wherever. Uh, the only downside is you can't scroll the screen down or the game will crash. Okay, so, so you can only go left, right, up. Yeah, left, right, or up. Okay. Um, and I will be doing that a lot. But for the most part, uh, it's just go into the doghouse, hit a random loading zone, go somewhere else. <laughs> You don't need... It's kind of like entrance randomizer for yeah. like OT, MM, stuff like that. That actually makes sense. That actually makes a lot of sense, except it's just a no restrictions category. Yeah, except but... for it's not entrance randomizer. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but it doesn't need to be when you have the doghouse. Exactly, apparently. exactly. Yeah. So I even worry about that. That would make a... I feel like that game would make a great archipelago if you could work out of logic, but listen, uh -huh. that's, oh, that's I, not for today. Actually, yes. funny story. I did try to do a Link's Awakening randomizer one time, uh -huh. and using the doghouse was the worst mistake I could have possibly made. Uh-oh. Because it's really hard to follow 
where you're trying to go if it's not exactly like to a dungeon. Oh no. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I guess yeah. If everything's like too randomized, yeah, they it's just get it's lost. not really it's not really as convenient as maybe it's for sounds. sure. But for this category today, again, like you you'll know what you're doing. It's not a randomizer, but it doesn't again kind of doesn't need to be because there's so many places that you can mm-hmm. just go to from that doghouse. I'm really excited to see how that works. It's literally like right away. You just kind of get into it. Um, yes. So so excited. Uh, we have just jumped up. So now we are suddenly at 97% of the way there. Holy oh moly. God. We are over $56,000. That's amazing. Um, so three more percent. We're going to hit that $58,000. We're going to see that tonight. We still have um, a little bit between now and then. We've got Sticky Business and we have Luigi's Mansion. Um, so those are going to be amazing runs coming up. Uh, I'm really excited for both of them. Um, we have really cool incentives you can have for those. Uh, but let's hit that milestone. It's Zelda. We love Zelda. I need to see Link's Awakening. Bring back my childhood fave. Um, let's see Claire Lynn. Just, just Claire, just totally destroy this game, yes. please, for us, okay? Please, please hit the incentive. I promise, out of all the games that you've seen so far, this one you definitely don't want to miss. Yes. So make sure to hit that 58K. Yes. And One of the most broken, yeah. probably. I would say probably the most broken. Oh, the most broken. Tall order. Okay. I believe it though. I, from what yeah, I've seen. I, I'm, I know it's a tall order, but <laughs> I have a pretty good idea. <laughs> of course. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me about it. I can't wait to see it. I know we can make this happen. So excited. And you know, you can win awesome prizes like these. Um, I hear a detective is coming in to talk about prizes in a bit. So I don't know. Stick around. Maybe you can um, uh, see what they have to offer. But um yeah, donate, win some prizes, watch Link's Awakening. Claire, go get ready for the game. I'm so excited and uh, get ready for some sticky business. Coming up next.